If you have watched our last episode, you already know that we finally started sailing north to explore the Brazilian coast. And our first stop is a place called Porto Belo. And if we translate this to English, it means beautiful port. So, join us on our first stop. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And together, we are on the mission of bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life. So, don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Monday for a new episode. What a beautiful day with no rain for now. <laughs> we are gonna go to shore to explore the area and to find some food. I can already see the difference between here and where we were. You can see the cable inside the water. The other places we were, you, you can't see this. Where is that? Right there. It's gonna turn to northeast wind soon, and then we're protected. That's the reason why we're there. Yeah. Right now it's south. We can stay in the same place for both winds. That's just perfect. It's actually a really nice neighborhood, uh, because it's winter time. There is just us. <laughs> Let's go sailing. I'd love to have one of these to play around when I was yeah. a kid. When we were kids, there was nothing like this. <laughs> spoiled kids, spoiled kids nowadays. As I was saying yeah. yesterday, this area is also colonized by Portuguese people from Azores. So that's why they have like a Portuguese decoration, like colorful houses, yes. the tiles. We don't get lost. Roberta gets lost really easy. We came here with a mission. We have a restaurant that we're going to eat. It's right there. So let's go straight to the restaurant and then, then we... Yeah, our friend recommended the restaurant and we went to try this out. hope this is good. Today they have free... It's basically like a lot of different kinds of food that you can choose from and you can eat as much as we want from anything. Yeah, as much as you can. Yeah, as much as you can. Like That's it. I can eat a lot. They're, they're going to be losing money today. <laughs> choose from all you can eat to weigh your dish so my dish is 14 reais and Duke is the free one I want the free because I'm so close to the free way that I can eat more if I just choose free I eat as much as I want and we also have dessert and coffee as courtesy not sponsored <laughs> so what next next we're gonna walk around yep. made. I think we should get this in this. Aqui a gente trabalha há mais de 15 anos. São pai e filho que fazem as faquinhas. Então, rota 8 é uma rota que tem muitos cuteleiros daqui do Brasil até o Uruguai. Eles visitavam muito essa rota. Então eles resolveram homenagear e colocaram o nome da loja, né, o nome dessa rota. Eu acho melhor essas duas aqui. That was much better than I, I thought. Much better and much cheaper than we thought. Yes, that was <laughs> we bought these two knives that are handcraft. This is buffalo horn together with the covers, the leather covers, like real leather covers. That was $50, 250 reais. No, that's not sponsored. We just stopped by the store. We, we didn't know them, but, but they're really we good. We really like to show the, the handmade things because we love handmade things. And it's really cool to support small business. If you ever come to Portobello, just stop by. They're really cool. And even if you live somewhere else in Brazil, you want to buy from distance, I think they can ship. Yeah, you can try. Let's keep walking. We are gonna try to find. Oh, oh it's a really nice store. We're gonna well. be broke today. <laughs> That's not good. She recommended this store because we want to buy something to get the sharpener. The sharpener. We went to buy a sharpener, sharpener, but they just had big ones, and we went to find one here in this store that she recommended. Let's check this one. We found it. <laughs> we found a store that sell both parts. We didn't buy anything, right? Yeah, not really. <laughs> this is for work. We need to scrape the hole sometimes. It's been a while we've been looking for Searching for it. Search for it. So this one, but that was not the best. One. So cute. Yeah, we've been riding the dinghy without an anchor. And I think that's not smart because no. if something happens to the dinghy, you need an anchor to stop. And this is a bronze anchor. That's so nice. I love it. This is a 2.16 kilograms. 
bronze anchor and that was around 40 US dollars. We have so many uh, nice stores around here. Yeah, but I think we need to walk fast to the dingo, otherwise we're gonna get broke. By the way, this was important. We're gonna stop by the Yacht Club to check if we can take showers tonight. Maybe that's a good idea. Because mm -hmm. we are partners with the Yacht Club in Florianopolis. This might be a partner Yacht Club. That means that, you know, they give some, like, perks for who is partner in another Yacht Club. So maybe you can take hot showers uh, here. That might be good. <laughs> This area in our states is well known for the big parties on boats, so that's why we can find big boats around here. But that's, but that's not what we're looking for, we're looking for a shower. <laughs> Unfortunately, no shower. It's so close, but they're not partners. Yeah. Shower next week then. <laughs> yeah, the problem is in Nod, we are not taking showers yet. The head's not sealed properly. If we start taking hot showers inside, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get some rust really soon, so we don't want to take hot showers inside. And we are holding until the summer so we can take showers outside and then we can fix for next winter. That's the idea. The water here is much clearer than Florianopolis. I believe so, I, I think you can see. I think before we go to Cachadas, we're just gonna ding right around the boat. I, I, that's funny, one thing people that own boats and live on boats like to do is to see other boats, like different kinds, you know, like. And there's a metal boat there, I can see an old steel boat. We're gonna check this We can see boat. some rust on the outside. <laughs> yeah, we kind of like the rusty boats. Yeah, I like metal boats. A tiki. My brother always told me that the, the biggest number of catamarans in the world are Warren catamarans. And I was like, nah, are you sure? And then like, just in Florianopolis, I count already six or seven. I just saw another one any other brand i saw that many boats at one place i think we have just keep talking yeah all the time as usual <laughs> this one is pretty cool remember the other day that we showed lucas grandpa's boat that was built with concrete ferro cement this one is also ferro cement but it's a sailboat yeah sailboat is much better i mean like <laughs> nothing against trawlers they're really cool but you know we came all the way from Florianopolis with no diesel at all just like maybe three liters that's pretty good a beautiful one. Let's go. Let's go. This was the, the first place that I went that I, I saw my feet inside the water for the first time and I was like nine years old. Did you cry? Tears of happiness. And this is the first time we arrived with odd somewhere that we been like once like 20 years ago but seems like we've never been here before yeah. <laughs> and you're just discovering there and that's so cool it's just I think the reason why we refit the boat was for this time just so you can go to new places. I wish it wasn't that cold and we could go inside the water and oh, if it wasn't that cold, not freeze. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't that cold we could just put our anchor here yeah. because we just bought an anchor. We could just anchor here and just go for a swim but we're not gonna do that today. Our friend MP from Sailing Ava used to work on this boat as a diving teacher. Yeah, diving instructor. Diving instructor. <laughs> By the way MP we need a diving course. You said you're gonna give us, now it's in camera so you cannot say no anymore. We're just waiting for Yaba. We're gonna have a diving course with personal a instructor. Favorite instructor in the world. <laughs> Time to get moving, we want to explore some other places now. <laughs> this thing is much bigger nowadays, eh? You can see on the back, the, the buildings. We can try to find a picture from this 20 years ago and now to see the difference. My parents actually met each other at that beach yeah, 40 I... years ago.
<laughs> no one is here. This seems like an abandoned place, but it's not. They have uh, a track and also have some uh, inscriptions on the rocks. Petroglyphs. <laughs> That's how you call it in English, I guess. Yeah, petroglyphs. I never heard this before, but... Oh, it's a nice area. It's amazing. It's just like a small jungle in the middle of... Right next to the ocean. Right next to the city, right next to the ocean, but... It's really, really cool. This is a protected area. There are pirates here. High tension. <laughs> oh, it's high tension. Okay. It's, it's the same thing, right? Pirates, high tension. It's, just, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. As you can tell, the bar is closed. Everything is closed. E tem a trilha ecológica aqui, são 1.300 metros, dura na média de 40 minutos. Valeu, obrigado ah, aí. Vamos passar aí pra vocês Valeu. aí. There are guys that work here, taking care, and everything is closed, but he said, no, you guys can walk around. This place is for free, this area, but the other one is a, a one kilometer track, and we need to pay two... Five dollars? Around five dollars Like four dollars, yeah. I told Robert that my Instagram is going to be really big. In order for my Instagram to be big, it to be all about Robert. That's the trick, you know, the tricky. I, instead of putting my pictures, I put her pictures. Yeah, smile. Is this the end? So do you want to go to the track? Uh, maybe instead of going to the track today, we can go for a drink ride tomorrow. And then we decide if we want to do the track, we can do the track tomorrow. Hope it's not raining tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Why rain? What do we do? I'm cleaning. <laughs> Even though we don't really like to go out on rainy days, it's really photogenic. Another way of taking advantage of the fresh water is to wash the solar panels. Yeah. After a whole day of rain, today we don't have rain anymore. <laughs> I mean, the sun is shy. But it's really good, we cannot complain. It's great, the it's day amazing. looks beautiful, but it's gonna rain later, so we need to get moving and do something because, you know, we don't want to spend the entire week inside of the boat, we no. want to explore a little bit. <laughs> Today we're gonna show you something really cool. I need to do a confession, for me at least. Lately it's really hard to film content because for us, most of the cultural part of where we are it's just our life for 37 years, so mm -hmm. it's hard to, to, to know what is different, what's not for everyone that watch the videos because people from all over the world watch the videos we love when you comment you should film this and that because in this way we can see your point of view so today we are gonna go to a special place the bakery and there's something else we need to do today <laughs> yeah. important thing really really important <laughs> remember thing remember that the other day we were trying to find a place to take a shower we found it one of you guys contacted us that's really cool we love that we, we, <laughs> we arrive in a place and someone be like oh i live in the same town you are do you want to Something. <laughs> Something. Do you need a ride? Do you need to take a shower? Do you need to wash clothes? We're like, mm, we need to take a shower. So we're going to meet our new friend after breakfast. We're going to go to meet our new friends and take a shower. That's just awesome. Yeah. <laughs> of course, we're not going to meet him just for a shower. We love to meet new people. By the way, if you are in the same place we are, let us know. We would love to meet you guys. Yeah. This is one of the reasons we have the channel. We want to meet people. Yeah, it's much more <laughs> fun to arrive and meet locals because they know the place much better than we do. But let's move. Let's talk. Check out that's this? Classical. Coxinha de galinha. That's basically a dough with a chicken inside, like chicken sauce inside. It's really good this one actually. It's a tiny baguette. The funny thing is, Brazil is so big that everywhere you go, they call it a different name. This. Sometimes we call this one French bread, pão francês, or pão de trigo. That is? It's a flour bread. Every bread is made with flour. So. What they call flour bread, I don't know why. Confession time. It was really good. It was the best coxinha in a while. But when there were man no many options. We are going to take you in a couple of days because <laughs> from here we are going to go to another town. 
that we know already a bakery. Wait and see. <laughs> wait and see. To be continued. So now we are gonna try to find our new friends. Can I confess something? It's been like six days that we six don't days. have a shower. Last Monday. <laughs> Last Monday, today is Saturday. So good. <laughs> We don't smell bad. It's just winter. We don't sweat that much. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> and we don't move that much. We were just sitting on the couch. And YouTube has no smell yet. So you're <laughs> fine. Don't worry, you're fine. We are going. <laughs> this is how I look before showering and after showering. <laughs> it's so good. Are oh, there? Do you remember there's schooners that we passed by? They are from our friends and they have a company that you can rent a schooner to spend a day and they have this area here to receive people. <laughs> the hair is the same. <laughs> when we arrived in Portobello we had no plans. We had no idea how the next days would be. So when this amazing couple sent us a message, I don't know why, but we knew we needed to meet them. It's amazing how life can surprise us if we are willing to say a simple yes. In the end, meeting our new friends made this trip so much more special. We literally spent three full days together. We went for a family party, we had many meals together, we talked, talked and talked, we took some showers, we washed some clothes, we even used their swim machine to make some new curtains. And even though we spent only three days with them, it feels like we knew each other for years and that made it really hard for us to say goodbye. And now we can finally understand the feeling we read on many sailing books before. What a nice day here outside! I'm gonna try to update you on what we have been doing and our plans for the next few days. So we have been here in Porto Belo and for the past three days we have been hanging out with a couple that we met through our YouTube. They are a really nice couple and they live in a boat and right now they are in the city because they came here to meet their family and we were lucky they were here right now. So let's talk about the future plans. The idea was to move today with the south wind that is gonna start now. Even though it seems that there is no much wind here, outside there is a lot of wind. So we are gonna wait a little bit and go tomorrow with a little bit lower wind. Okay, he's editing the video and we are on watch to see if the wind's gonna pick it up or not. It's a mess here inside. <laughs> so the past days we we took advantage of having a house with water and shower and we washed some clothes at our friend's house and we took some showers and I even made some curtains for our bedroom. Right now we are using like this black fabric with tape. Can you show us the forecast? Here is Florianopolis, our home island. We are north, we are in right here, Porto Belo. So the green dot is us. This is right now, yes. So it's gonna get worse and worse and worse and worse. So basically the next stop is right here. It's not a long passage, it's gonna be like three hours passage. And the wind is not even gonna be that close to the coast, supposedly, according to the forecast. The problem is the channel, because there is an entry of a channel with a lot of huge ships and we don't want to get into a port that's already a scary thing to do with 30 knots of wind so we decide that's a smart idea to wait until tomorrow and we get the end of the cold front and we still gonna have a lot of wind but not as much as today where are you going we are gonna go inside this bay there is a marina and the cool thing is that this area is i would say the main uh, boat construction and refit and the industry of boat in Brazil, the main region in the south is this city. So it's going to be good because we have some parts we want to buy. Yeah. We have some stuff we want to do on the boat. We're not going to spend long. We're going to spend like a week maybe. Some friends we want to visit. Oh, some <laughs> friends that are refitting a boat. We're going to give you a spoiler of Yaba. How is Yaba doing? <laughs> right now, I, I, I don't know if you understood, but our goal is to go north all the way to Angra dos Reis maybe or even north but stopping along the way yeah. as much as we can we just want to enjoy the coast and, and get to know people. the coast and meet people of course yeah today we are gonna have lunch with our, fr our friends for the last time yeah we need to say goodbye and luckily the wind just died down a little bit later on today I think it's gonna come back so we're gonna take the chance to 
say goodbye to your friends because it's funny. You just know people for three days. It seems like your best friends forever. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. We are gonna go to the restaurant that we went the other day. They are neighbors with our friends and it's really good. Yeah, it's really, really good. And the funny thing is that the owner is just a f football fanatic, a soccer <laughs> fanatic. So there are so many soccer t-shirts inside. And today I came all blue because his team actually he his favorite his team. favorite team is the one from our island yeah. and the color is blue i'm like i'm gonna wear blue just to make him happy you know because he's gonna be excited when i show up on blue yeah <laughs> Yeah, I think it was a smart decision not to leave today and wait until tomorrow. We are right now with 25 plus knots constant and we have some gusts of 30. And we are inside of the bay, really, really well protected. Here it's just like the south wind comes straight from the top of the hill and there is, it's really protected. Outside of the bay must be really, really strong. And I think tomorrow is gonna be a really really good sailing condition because the wind is gonna die down a little bit. The waves I thought was gonna be were gonna be much higher. Supposedly we're not gonna have that much more waves. So we're gonna wait a little bit and enjoy this moment because here outside it's just like blowing. We're just like dancing all around. The boat is moving so much for now. Let's just enjoy all inside because all inside is just comfortable. Even though here outside just everything is flying. It's Inside even it. more comfortable today. We just went to the supermarket. <laughs> yeah.